All right, today I'm going to quickly show you how to make this crescent moon shape. The yeah, process is really easy, and uh, yeah, let's just get straight into it. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is just draw a circle. Um, I'm going to make sure that I've only got a black for my fill, no stroke, and we're just going to go up to our lips tool, which is usually found under the rectangle tool. And we're just going to come in the middle here, and holding shift on the keyboard, we're just going to draw out a circle, like so. Now the next step, what we're going to do is... Um, draw out another circle on top of it and we're going to use that one to crop the crescent shape out of it. Um, just to get an idea of what our crescent shape is going to look like, what I'm going to do is just deselect that circle by pressing Control shift a and then just come up to our little swatches and change the fill color to blue and that way we'll be able to differentiate our circles. So just again with the ellipse tool, holding shift, we're just going to come down and draw a circle on top of this one, like so. Alright, now we're going to move the circle around and just adjust it so we can get our ideal crescent shape. So we're just going to grab our pointer tool, you can either do that up here or press V on the keyboard. And we're just going to shuffle this one over like so. Now the cool thing about this is you don't have to have a perfect crescent shape. You can increase the size of the circle and have quite a sharp crescent shape. Or you can decrease the size of it and have quite a deep crescent sort of thing. Alright, so I quite like the look of that. So now what I'm going to do is open up my Pathfinder dialog box. Now most people might have a quick link to the dialog box inside here. If you don't, don't worry. All you have to do is go to Window and just make sure the Pathfinder is ticked there. Or alternatively press Shift Control F9. Alright, so once you have that up, uh, make sure that both circles are selected and that the blue circle is on top. It's important that the circle that you are cutting out from is always at the bottom. Um, so what we're going to use is we're going to use a shape mode called subtract from shape area. Now all you have to do is make sure that both circles are selected and click that one. And you'll see that it's cut it out. However you'll notice that there's all these leftover dirty paths that are sitting around the place. Um, to get rid of these all you have to do is press expand. And there you have it. All done. Now to skip the two step in the shape mode and expand all you have to do is hold alt and click the shape mode and I'll do those two steps all in one. Um, I do understand that newer versions of Adobe have a different shortcut but you can easily find that by hovering over the um, shape mode. And there you have it, nice simple easy way to make a crescent moon shape. Um, if you found this tutorial helpful feel free to hit the like button that always helps and um, I do plan on making more of these tutorials so also hit the subscribe button if you want to see more in the future and uh, yeah have a nice day.